I'm not putting them in the wash now. Who's it by? Dr. Gladys Bloomquist. I ought to go myself, choose me own books. You've never got this from romantic fiction. No, personal development. I'm a senior citizen. Same routine every day. Mum does Asta. Fish and chips for lunch. Tuesday's the garden. I know more about lunch than Monty Don. Wednesday's the library, Thursday's the drop-in centre, bingo with Mrs. Birkin. Friday's the, the Friday's a pint at the doctor, Saturday's the lottery, and Sunday's scrabble with Sheila and Ben. I'm bored of me biscuit. Oh, I am aware that at my time in life, scoring a goal for Manchester United or winning an Olympic medal for pole vaulting is probably out of the question. I'll never own a Mercedes or a rope with Katie Price. But sod all of that, I love you. But what might feasibly send me spinning into the realms of screaming insanity is our devastating little sex life. I didn't think you'd be much bothered once you got your bus pass. So many positions, so little time. Since when did getting a bus pass herald the onset of will it trouble, eh? I'll go on better to your house, eh? Fling off your flannel, rip out your rollers, drop your drawers, hurl yourself into the 21st century, the noughties. Oh, you've lost the clock, you have. If you'd worn wins yet on our wedding night, I'd be a free man today. I'm not negligees. Diophanius night is. Suspenders, cheese strings, PVC, light craft, black leather, bondage. Tempt me, go on, transmogrify me into a hotbed of tropic intensity. Are we talking filth? See, I'm beginning to get the idea already. Remember when Mick Jagger and Marianne Faithful did that thing? What thing? You know, with a Mars bar. Oh, was it half a pound of lurk? You can buy chocolate body paint at British owned stores now, you know? Oh, 45 years of the missionary position. I can't go on. I'll end up with strip joints. Or be trolled across the car park and as the by men in white coats. Start bullet naked and screaming, how oh, is this for a special offer? You never said. You never asked. I never knew. I bought you a present. It's a bloody hand blender. Where's the attachment? I didn't know there was one. Of course there is. I've seen our Sheila's. Our oh, Sheila's? You're not going to tell me she gets them around to pop in with that. For Christ's sake! <gasps> oh. <laughs> She'd go ballistic. Not to do with her. She's my sister. You're not supposed to tell her. Is this an ultimate? Oh no, it's a library. I know what she's like. Oh, too, but they're right. It's all right for you. Your Alan and his computers. Your Anne nursing. Your May nursing. Oh, grandchildren. Uh, you don't know what it's like never to have heard the, the patter of tiny feet. Of course, it's not my fault. It's Ben, isn't it, Ben? It's his things. I took him down to the doctors and he said it was his things. They haven't got tails on, have they, Ben? And he just sits there, bloody girl's blouse, socially and sexually inept. I do sometimes wonder what she saw in him. No bloody option either of them, just like it was at St. Bottles. Mixed infants. Trailing around behind the gang like a pair of knockless threads. They were always the last to be picked for cops and robbers. I always made sure that I arrested you first. Huh. Oh! Couldn't we do ballroom dancing? Oh! Okay, I'll give it a 
world. How about a Hazelwood world? Why not? Chops away. What a position would you recommend? Oh, 69. I've been thinking a lot about you and me and page 69. That's not humanly possible. I'm a Reverend Orcock in the library. Don't change the subject. He's done it. Page 69. No wonder he gets piles. Oh, oh, oh. Blimey, chucks away. Chucks away. <laughs> Bear my burden. It's not a burden. Of course it is. Look at me. I can't even get it up for fuck's sake. I don't lose someone to you. It won't be like this forever. How do you know? How do you know these thoughts? They're not just going to go away. They're not just going to leave my head. They haunt me. I can't even fill up the fucking car with petrol without the smell of it freaking me out. So tell me how it's going to get better. Psychological wounds heal just as much as physical ones. <laughs> it just takes a bit more time, that's all. I want to hear something crazy. The other week I was in Kensington High Street. And a car backfires and I hit the deck thinking it's a fucking bomb attack. A mortar bomb in Kensington High Street! Have you ever heard of anything so ridiculous? It's not that ridiculous. We had the 77 bombings. It can happen anywhere. The worst thing ever. Everybody just carried on. Like it was the most normal thing in the world. Nobody stopped to ask if I was okay. Nobody flinched. They just stared at me like I was a fucking freak show. <coughs> I'll understand. I'll understand if you want to leave. Oh, don't be down. Till death do us part, remember? Oh, death. Kevin! Killing yourself is not the answer. It's not the day. Kevin, don't! It's the worst thing you could do to me. I'm going to